Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. I'm going to show you how to install Flutter on Windows 10 or Windows 11. The process is very similar. So let's jump straight in. The first thing you want to go ahead and do is jump into flutter.dev and that is the official URL. You're going to go up to get started on this page. Now, once you jump into get started, you have the choice to choose from Windows, Mac, Linux, or Chrome OS. Of course, we are here for Windows. We're going to go ahead and tap on Windows. Now, we're going to have a look at desktop, mobile, or web. Right now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to tap on desktop for now. And um, we're going to go ahead and just underneath the um, system requirements you can see that there are hardware requirements so you must make sure of course that um, your uh, system meets the minimum requirements once we're done there we're going to continue to scroll down and you can see that there is a install the flutter sdk and right over here it says use vs code to install we are not going for that we're going to look for download and install and basically what will this do is uh, it'll give you the uh, zip file so once you click on this blue um, icon over here you will see up at the top right it is started to download now it is about a gig worth of data, so it will take some time to download. All right, so you can see now that our file has downloaded. We are going to click on the file. It will now open up in our file explorer. And you can see up at the top of your panel, it says extract all. We're going to tap on that. Now, what it's going to do is, by default, it's going to um, save in this folder destination so what we're going to do is we're going to say extract we're going to leave it like this and we're going to move it um or copy it rather at a later stage rather than saving it straight to that destination now because if we copy it then we will have a backup file if we have any errors or if we run into any problems the file is now being extracted and the next step involves what we spoke about earlier is actually copying this file so we're going to go ahead right click and we are going to tap on copy as path if you are on windows 10 then you are going to see a menu that looks a little bit like this and we're going to go ahead and tap on copy now we're going to go ahead on the left hand side we are going to navigate to our this pc you can see our c drive here now one of the things that i will note if you go back onto the website and you scroll down a little bit from our download file it does say that the installer um, should not be installed on the program files so we are not going to install it on in program files we're going to install it right over here so we're going to right click and um, again we're going to tap on show more options and over here we are going to paste and the file that was extracted will now be pasted here so it is now being copied over and we are now going to open up the file we are going to navigate to bin right over here and we are going to double click on bin now what you want to do is go up to your path now, if you click in your path you will see that it gives you the path with its dashes we are going to right click on this and we are going to copy that the next thing we want to do is go into our search bar and we want to look for um, system environment variables so we're going to open this when this has been opened you're going to go ahead and at the top of this window you can see computer name hardware advanced we are looking for the advanced tab and we're going to go all the way down and you'll see environmental variables once this has been opened um, under the user variables for and your name it's going to show you onedrive path and two temp folders we're looking for the path it's the second one and we're going to double click on this what we want to do now is go ahead and tap on new on the right hand side and here we want to actually paste the path that we have previously um, copied right once we're done we're going to go ahead and tap on ok you can now go ahead over here and you can tap on ok 
and we're going to close this one as well by tapping on OK. Now the final step um, to make sure that Flutter has in fact been installed is we're going to go ahead now again to our search bar and we're going to type in CMD and that will give us the command prompt app. We're going to open this. Over here we are going to go ahead and type in Flutter and we're going to hit enter and you'll see now that all of its files will actually go ahead and start start loading up. Once everything has been loaded up, you'll know that Flutter has successfully been um, installed onto your device. As you can see over here, after my command, you can see that all of its files are actually here. You have now successfully installed Flutter onto your Windows 10 or 11. If you have any further questions, you can leave it in the comment section below. We'd love to be of assistance. We'll see you in another awesome video.